right on the streets of uh, Kyoto. So I wanted to give you some practical tips and advice on how to stay motivated in street photography. So personally, I've been shooting street photography for about over probably 10 years and staying motivated in photography, street photography is probably one of the most difficult things. I think it's natural for all of us as photographers to have waning enthusiasm and passion and motivation. There's certain days that we feel super inspired, super motivated to go out and make photos. And other days we're just not feeling it. So these are some of my practical thoughts. So first and foremost, one of the best ways to stay inspired as a photographer is to be very selfish and to be very self-centered as a photographer, meaning you only make photos to please yourself. So I think the sometimes we actually lose motivation because we get our motivation via the likes and the feedback we get from other photographers. But the problem with that is that if you're depending too much on your own self-esteem as a photographer by getting feedback from other photographers, then when you don't get as many likes or as much positive feedback as you think you deserve, you're not gonna be as motivated to go out and shoot. So I think actually for me, in street photography, the best way to stay inspired is just to enjoy the process, to have fun with it. I think for me, ultimately, I really like street photography because it's almost like visual gymnastics. So like for example, I'm shooting with right now the Lumix LX100 and with the 24 millimeter lens. And when I started shooting street photography, uh, Canon 5Ds, then I switched to Leica, I was always shooting with a 35 millimeter lens. Then I switched to shooting with the Ricoh GR with the 20 millimeter lens, which became a challenge because it's much wider. Now shooting with the 24 millimeter lens, it's even more difficult, it's more challenging. And that's actually what makes street photography fun because it is so difficult and so challenging. I think a lot of us, you know, who are interested in street photography might have started off with landscape photography or photographing flowers and stuff like that. And you know, it's nice and all, but the reason why it gets boring after a while is that it's just not challenging anymore. And so realize that one of the best ways to stay inspired and to have more fun in photography is to challenge yourself more. So for example, you know, that might mean getting closer to your subjects, that might mean shooting more layered street photos, that might mean shooting with a flash, it might mean shooting with a wider angle lens, it might mean crouching down lower and shooting from interesting perspectives, shooting more head on, being more aggressive in street photography. And so just kind of realize in street photography, you have to make it fun, you have to enjoy the process and to make it more fun, make it more challenging. And also ultimately what you want to do is strive to make photos that please yourself, that photos that you like to look at your own pictures and you're like, wow, I like my own pictures and photos that put a smile on your face because once again, the problem with social media and Facebook and Instagram is that you become a slave to the opinions of others and we just want to make photos that garner and get us a bunch of likes and stuff like that. And so remember as a photographer, to stay inspired, you always want to dig deep within yourself, make photos that please yourself, be a little bit self-centered and be a little bit greedy in your photography, and once again, enjoy the process because at the end of the day, photography, street photography, isn't about becoming the world's best photographer, getting the most followers, or even making the world's best photos, but to me, photography is about having a more fulfilling life, to have more fun in life, to go on more adventures, to get out of your apartment, and street photography is a good way to, you know, talk to strangers. It's a good way to, it's a good excuse to explore the world. Street photography will give you the opportunity or the excuse to travel more and broaden your mind. And once again, it's about finding more connection with society, more meaning and fulfillment. Don't worry so much about the photos themselves. And just know that it's, you could be the most talented, hardworking street photographer in the world, the most talented but whether you get a good shot or not is kind of beyond your control. So do that zen-like detachment from um, the results, but enjoy the process. Peace out.